What's up everybody? It's James again from HonestCigarReviews.com and today we're going to see what I use to roll cigars, the, the tools and uh, so you've seen the unboxing video with my first cigar in it you should have saw the, the next video with how I roll cigarellos well not how I roll them but that I do roll them but now is actually getting into the rolling part and what I use so to start off this is probably the biggest question most people have is what do you use to, to, uh, for cigar glue to seal your cigars and to prevent them from unraveling. I've been using this fruit pectin. This is from Certo, and it's the uh, liquid. It's already liquid form, so it comes in these pouches. And so I just kind of refrigerate it, and then I put it in a nice little glass, and I just kind of get a little bit out, and it, uh, you know, just a nice gel. And uh, so the only downside you can see with this stuff is that uh, you know fruit pectin is kind of bitter. So you you can taste it a little bit. I mean, most of the time when you finish off a cigar, you cut it off anyway. It doesn't affect the flavor of the actual cigar. It doesn't affect how it burns. And it's quite cheap and readily available because you can get it anywhere. So I use fruit pectin. Maybe I'll change it to flour and water. You know, we'll figure that out. And then I also use a distilled water and a nice spray bottle. What you're going to want to get is a nice spray bottle. This is a cheap spray bottle and it kind of drips. You're going to want a nice spray bottle to get a nice even coat on your leaves and to humidify them to to get working with so distilled water and a sprayer you're gonna want maybe a this is a, a maybe here a, a rolling pin to get rid of some veins you might see some veins that you don't like and you just kinda roll them out a little bit uh, you know a knife like we don't I don't have a chaveta which is the type of knife they use but I have something similar you know it's a cheap knife but I can kinda do this kinda work you know so maybe a knife or maybe you're more of a pizza cutter kind of guy and you like to get a nice straight edge with a pizza cutter. It's up to you. I also bought these leaf only cigar molds. These are the 48 ring gauge. There's eight of them here. And it's just a nice heavy duty mold with wing nuts to press the cigars into shape. I cannot recommend them enough if you're going to roll your own. And then um, a nice wooden cutting board. I got this for a dollar, Salvation Army. Nice and heavy you're going to want to roll your stuff on here. And then this is also optional, uh, a nice metal surface. I use both this and the wood surface. I use this for bunching and binding, and I use this for the wrapper. Because what happens is when the wrapper gets wet and this gets wet, it kind of adheres. And when the adhesion happens, it makes you roll nice and tight cigars. So I'd, I would recommend doing both, or maybe you figuring out what you like better. And then... Um, you're going to want a nice big plastic bag for your scraps. This is where you keep all your scraps in. And then you're going to want a bigger bag uh, for when you hydrate your, your wrapper leaf. You want your wrapper leaf to be nice and hydrated and moist or damp so that you can work with it. And so you're going to put that in here and you're going to spray it with some water. Maybe leave it overnight. Maybe leave it for a few hours. And uh, this one closes up so it kind of keeps the moisture in. You know, just something that you can kind of get the hydration going in your wrapper. And then, of course, your actual tobacco. Um, you know, this is from Leaf Only. This is the, uh, the medium combo. Um, your tobacco will come different ways. But as you can see, there's this mid-ribbed or frog-legged. And uh, I believe this is Ligero here. That's a nice filler. You're going to want binder. You're going to want wrapper. You know, that's about it. 